Today, astronomy is a major endeavor of the scientific community. And one of the world's foremost astronomical research institutions is the focus of Science Digest. On a mountaintop almost 7,000 feet high near Tucson, Arizona, stands Kitt Peak National Observatory, the largest facility in the world for ground-based optical astronomy. Built on land owned by the Papago Indians, this window on the universe is operated by an association of 12 universities under contract to the National Science Foundation. Solar astronomer Bruce Gillespie is discussing research findings with a group of students from the schools of Tucson. The four-meter Mayall telescope is the world's second largest optical telescope currently in operation. Three Kitt Peak astronomers recently made history with this highly advanced instrument and a new camera technique. As reported in Time magazine, they produced the first photo ever made of a star's actual surface. The gaseous mass they photographed lies 500 light years away from Earth and is 800 times the diameter of the Sun. Jupiter is a very strange planet. The planet is gradually shrinking in size. It's the only planet in the solar system that we know so far that gives off more energy than it receives from the Sun. I'm set up here during the daytime to do some observations of Jupiter. Okay, after everything's been set up, I'll tell the computer to start making a measurement. I happen to be doing infrared observations here. I'm trying to see how hot Jupiter is. One astronomer at Kitt Peak is concentrating on studies of faint red stars on the outer edges of our galaxy. Her name is Dr. Donna Weistrop. I've just always been interested in astronomy. I remember when I was a child, dragging my father off to an eclipse at five o'clock in the morning in New York City. And I've just been interested in it ever since. I took a lot of physics and math. You really need a lot, especially a lot of physics, right through high school, college, even in graduate school, because a lot of astronomy is just based on, on a study of stars and galaxies, but from the point of view of, of physics. I put the star on the slit to get not a standard photograph, but a picture of the star's light broken up into wavelengths. It can take 10 minutes, can take two minutes, sometimes it takes an hour. I have to open another dark slide first. This is just a protection to make sure that nothing extraneous gets on the slit. It has been said that by probing the depths of the universe, astronomers dissolve the beauty and majesty we feel when we look at the heavens. But in fact, they reveal things that touch the human soul. And always, they seek something new and enlightening in our universe. Something that no one has dreamt of before. <laughs> 